So it's been some time, huh? It's been over a month now that I haven't made a video. I guess I'm here to explain that, because I'm back. So if you don't want to see me yapping for like the next, I want to say, 15-20 minutes, just like, I don't know, skip to this time on screen if you just want to see the boss here, because we're, we're doing Blinarius on the new map today, and I already know how it goes. Blinarius comes out here, and then, yeah. It's not going to be too bad. I, I think it's going to be fairly easy. Um, the only thing that is a bit of an issue is the wall here. The wall here is going to be... It's going to make this a little bit more interesting. So why did I go on a bit of a break? There's a lot of, there, there's a lot of things that could be said about it. But one of the th things that I do want to say as I get a tax shooter to help defend the early rounds here is simply just, well, because YouTube wasn't becoming fun for me anymore. It was becoming more of a job. And while, yes, I would like to make money on this one day, that is, this YouTube at this point is still just a hobby. It's still just something that I do for fun. And so, you know, as, as much as I do want to turn this into my job, because it is a dream job for me, I would rather keep it a hobby until it becomes serious enough where I can actually turn it into a job. That's the reason why I bit of a, took a bit of a break. Not only that, depression was, and you know, the um, motivation was getting to me. But I'm back. I have videos in the pipeline. I have at least one video in the pipeline that I still need to edit. I'm back. And it's, it feels good to be back in the saddle. A BTD6 update released conveniently when I decided to go on break. So how fun is that? Um, so we have a lot more content to cover, including the new boss. I yapped for like a minute, maybe two minutes, probably just like a minute and a half maybe. But I could yap a lot more about it, but I'll just leave it as it is for now because I want to keep this channel about the gameplay if possible. And I hope that people will understand why I want to keep it about the gameplay and not about my life. Because, well, in my personal opinion, if you build a personal relationship with your audience by telling them about your life so much. It's gonna lead to a lot of very bad stuff later down the road if you do something bad and try to keep it under wraps, so. So we've already had Blastopopolis on this map, and it's this week's boss event that Blastopopolis is on this map, and I'm not gonna lie, this week's boss event is a kind of meme, because the way the boss works is all of your damage must be front-loaded. And if it's not front-loaded, then you're gonna have a hell of a time back here. Yes, he spawns right here and there's not much time, but there's a lot more room to plant your defense. Them actually putting the boss track on the bottom one is a little brilliant because it forces players to actually think. So here we stand at tier one here, and I'm not gonna lie, because the map is so short, just a ninja and a simple tax shooter is not gonna be enough for this week, for this boss event here. Not boss event, I can speak correctly, boss challenge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to play, I'm gonna let this do its thing, right? And we're gonna keep the balloon scumming over here for now, cause you can set this wherever you want. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to get spike factory, just, you know, doing some stuff, not doing too much. The reason why I'm getting a spike factory, I do kind of need some extra damage. And what better way to go for some extra damage than just get simple spike storm, you know? It's pretty cheap, it's cost effective, you know? And yeah, that's the reason why I have this right here. So tier one goes down pretty quickly, especially with um, Spy Factory on our side. And what I'm gonna do, I have everything I need now to sort of defend and, well not defend, but make a lot of money, but I need to defend as well. So believe it or not, I've actually found a solid defense here to make money and, you know, obviously defend. And believe it or not, that's a destroyer and the sky. It's a little bit expensive, but it's not, too bad because the destroyer is honestly one of the best towers for its price <laughs> i'm gonna farm as hard as i can and uh i'll meet you back at tier two where i don't know what we're going to do considering look at how short this track is so tier two is about to come out here and we've just been making money we we've made a lot of money actually i don't exactly know what i want to do for tier four because this will be tier four tier two because if i'm being completely honest i don't think there's any kind of tower that I can really build that could take tier two out in a reasonable amount of time. Obviously, we could always use the mad. Yes, this is correct. I don't really want to use the mad because I would have to overclock the mad in order to actually make the mad worth it. And as much as I don't want to do that, that's what I'm gonna, exactly what I'm gonna goddamn do. Play this, right? And uh, hopefully this goes well. I mean, if we have the balloon solver back there, we have the mad. This, there is no reason why this shouldn't go well, but again, you never know. You know, there are times where I really underestimate a tower, 
right? And I've always known that the Mad's been really strong. But I never knew the Mad would be this strong to basically kill off almost the entirety of an Elite Lunarius. Just like in that short amount of track length. And rebuy the Mad in a different position. And hopefully that this this is should be enough. This did, like, that was insanity. I mowed him down in an instant, basically. But I'll meet you back at Tier 3, because what does the Dark Paragon do best with? So here we are at the precipice of Tier 3, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this play. You know, not really going to do much, just going to sort of let Lunarius do his thing. You know, he's he's chilling, he's doing his thing, he's vibing. We're good. The reason why I'm going to do this is because there's a certain thing that does well against walls. And, well, you can see with the four dart monkeys here that I'm sure you probably know what it is. Yes, that's right, we're going for the dart paragon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to simply collect as much money as I can. It's going to be a big boy. I want it to be at least degree 30. I want to dump at least double his cost into it, if I can. But I don't think I'm going to be able to without maybe, maybe selling a farm here. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. This should deal with the entirety of tier 3 on his own. 41. Now, I just want to point it out. Point it out. Look at that damage. Look at the damage. And if I pop, plop a, an ice tower here, the damage is even more. Look at this damage. I'm not even speeding up. This is completely slowed down. This is completely slowed down. Look how much damage the Dark Paragon is doing. The Dark Paragon is the best is the best Paragon in this game. He is incredibly cost efficient. And given the right circumstances, he will utterly fuck anything that comes in his path. And there we go, just like that, tier three's down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to farm as much as I can for tier four, and I'll meet you back when we actually do get enough money for, listen, enough money, when I actually do get to tier four because I think I'm just gonna go for something pretty basic, just a ninja paragon. Um, I don't know though, I might try to switch it up. I'm still workshopping that idea in my head though. So here we go for tier four. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the ascended shadow, right? I'm gonna pump as much money as, into him as I can. He should be, oh my god, 40. Be beautiful, 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 beautiful. So this right here should be enough to just take down Blunarius on his own, right? But what I'm going to do is, because I am me, and I love my ace paragon, I'm going to get the tier 5 aces as well, right? Just to simply have them to get, so they can start collecting pops, really. And I'm going to, wrong one, I'm going to... Plot this right here. Village. The normal stuff, really, just trying to get the ace to collect as many pops as they can. But yeah, essentially, it's, it's the same boss stuff over and over again, really. As I said um, some time ago, I do want to beat Elite Blinarius on every single map in BTD6, including the expert ones, which is going to be an entire new thing on its own. But I'll meet you at Tier 5. So here we go with Tier 5, and I don't have any damage amplification at all. And the reason why I don't have any damage amplification at all is because I don't think we need it. We have an Ace Paragon, we have the Ninja Paragon here. Every single one of our Paragons is at least level 40. And, well, I don't think we really need the Ace Paragon to be... Not the Ace Paragon, any damage amplification. Because I think just this in itself will be able to deal with the entirety of Elite Winners. I mean, look at that. He's already taken some extreme damage. And he's not even, like, a quarter of the way through the map. Well, he probably is a quarter of the way through the map. But I don't know what they did, but... They buffed, they did some sort of behind the scenes stuff, and now suddenly Paragons are doing a lot more damage to bosses. Either that, or just level 40 Paragons are that good, and I've just never known until just now. And down he goes. His HP's falling fast, and now suddenly it's gone. I mean, like, with the Dart, with this map, the Dart Paragon is just gonna shred most things that come into his domain expansion here. But yeah, that's about it for today's video. If you did like it, please make sure to comment, like, subscribe. It feels good to be back into the swing of things, and well, I'll see you later.